Well, here it is guys, the latest update to my furniture mod. This has been in the works for so, so long. I actually started working on this on the 22nd of June. Now, I'm 100% certain this is the biggest update ever that my furniture mod has received. Now, we're not talking five new pieces of furniture. We're not talking 10 new pieces of furniture. We are talking 20 new unique pieces of furniture. Unique is the key word there, guys, so it's insane. And not only that, we have a ton of improvements to this mod. Like, it's actually insane how big this update is and why this video today has taken so long to create because to cover everything, it takes a while to document it all on video. But with that said, I introduce you guys to the modern update. Alrighty, so what we're going to be doing now is going through each piece of furniture and then after that we're going to go through the improvements that have been made in the mod. But before we do that, I'd appreciate if you guys could go ahead and leave a like on this video. So many hours have uh, gone into programming this new update and as I mentioned, it's the biggest update to the furniture mod so far, so why not? hit that like button right now. Also, if you would like, subscribe because we're going to be starting the development of the Outdoor Update version 2 real soon and you're going to be seeing videos about that on my channel. But anyway, let's get into this right now. So first on the list, we have the modern window and this is personally one of my favorite decorations. So why is it my favourite? Well, it's essentially an upgraded glass pane and the thing to note about the modern window is that it has a thick border. So as you can see all around the edge here it's a thick border and then in the middle here we kind of have these uh, inner connecting pieces uh, which join all the windows together. Now it's 100% dynamic so you can create any sort of shape window that you want. Right now we have a 3 wide by 2 high but if you wanted to you can create just kind of like a 2 high like that or you could even just create one like that if you really wanted to. You can create any shape window that you want. It can also work on the corners like this, so if you want to have the modern window on the, on the corner of a house, you could do, could do like so. So that's the modern window, let's go on to the next piece. Next on the list, we have the ceiling fan. Now this is nothing more than just a pure aesthetic decoration for your house. Now it's quite obvious what this would do. So if we go ahead and we right click it, it's going to start to spin. Now you'll notice that it gradually builds up as well. That's just something to note about it, I guess. And it just spins around, it looks really awesome. We go ahead and we right click it again and it will turn off. Pretty simple. But this is a nice piece to put inside of a living room or bedroom. So the third decoration we are looking at is the modern light. So you guys know already of the ceiling light in the furniture mod, but basically the modern light is an upgraded version of it because not only does it allow you to place it on ceilings, but it allows you to place it on any block surface you like. So as you can see right now, the modern light is actually on a wall here, but if we wanted to, we could place it on the ground and we could also place it upside down if we really wanted to. Now, the only way to power the modern light is through the next block which I'm about to show you guys. And this next block is the light switch. So I have the light switch in my hand here and essentially what the light switch can do is power the ceiling fan, the modern light or the ceiling light remotely. So previously the only way to power these was either through redstone or by right clicking it now you can actually do it wirelessly through the light and the good thing about it is you can also link up this light switch to multiple things at once so you can power all these three things here at once simply by flicking on the light switch. So let's go ahead 
and let's demonstrate it right now. So all you have to do is simply right click all the blocks that you want to be controlled with it. Now there's no clear indication right now but I might in the future add something but if we place that down on the wall now and we were to go ahead and right click this, as you can see everything is now turned on. We have the ceiling light turned on, the modern light and the fan is now spinning. If we go ahead and right click this again, it's going to turn off these blocks. And yeah, pretty self-explanatory. It does what a light switch does. But let's move on to the next decoration. So here we have the desk. And the cool thing about this is it comes in all the wood types and all the stone variants. But let's take a closer look at this right now. So straight away off the bat, you might notice that something about this desk. You can actually expand it. So if we go ahead and grab this and we place a desk down, we could have a single desk if we wanted to, but we can actually expand it horizontally and we can also create a corner if you want to. So for the people that want to have a corner desk, you can do that with this. And as I mentioned, it does come in every single type. So if we wanted to, we could go ahead and grab out another one here. So the jungle one, we could have a combination. Have something like this if you really wanted to. It's really up to you how you decide. Uh, but I created a little bit of a setup here with my device mod. This is actually not a part of the furniture mod. It's a separate mod of mine, but this could be uh, a, a scenario where you would use the desk. We're kind of creating a little bit of an office setup here. Now the next decoration I'm going to show you actually accompanies this desk. So let's go ahead, check it out now. And this block is the desk cabinet. So this actually works in conjunction with the desk. So if we were to go ahead and replace this desk under the printer here with the cabinet, as you can see, it actually automatically connects up with the other desk. Now, when it's actually placed alone, the really cool thing about this is it actually looks like an upgraded bedside cabinet. However, it is simply just a desk ca cabinet. If we were to place two side by side like this, as you can see, it actually has a gap here because it's think it, they're connecting together. Uh, if we actually used it in conjunction with this, uh, you can see that we actually have a really nice looking desk here and we might actually place that over there like that. Have a look at that. That is a, uh, a proper office desk. And next we have the digital clock. Now this is actually something I developed outside of the furniture mod. This is actually a mod I created during mod week. If you guys don't know what mod week is, it is essentially an entire week where I develop a mod every single day. And I thought it would work perfect for the furniture mod because it wasn't actually released properly and I feel like it fit perfectly into this modern update. But the cool thing about this digital clock is it will actually tell you the time in your world. Now right now um, I have daylight cycle turned to false so let's turn daylight cycle to true and you'll notice that uh, the time is now ticking on this clock so right now it says it is 10 a.m. in the morning now this clock would be particularly useful if you're living underground because you might not be able to see where the Sun is it would let you know that you know you can actually go up to the surface and explore around without getting mobbed by mobs <laughs> Now something I didn't mention is it does come in every single color as well. So right now it is orange, but you can actually get this in every other color. So we can have a red one, we could have a lime one, we could have a purple one. So let's replace those real quickly. Oh, <laughs> completely forgot about that. <laughs> there is storage in the desk cabinet. Completely forgot about that. So we've got the red one here, we've got the lime one and we've also got the purple one. And an extra thing you can actually do with this is if we go ahead and we were to grab a die out, such as this lapis, lapis lazuli or maybe a dandelion yellow, we can actually change the color of the text. So there's a lot of customizability in this digital clock. So this is a piece of furniture you guys have always wanted and this is the modern TV. Now, as you guys already know, there's a TV in the mod, however, it has a very small screen. The, mo the modern TV is essentially an upgrade to that, and a very good upgrade indeed, because I have reworked the entire channel system. No longer do we have a predefined channel set, 
now you can actually use GIFs on the TV, which just changes the whole game. Now, before I show you guys how that GIF system works, I want to show you about the TV here. Um, so right now you can see that it is placed on a desk. However, the cool thing about the modern TV is not only can you place it like that, you can actually mount it to a wall instead. So we don't even have to have that desk cabinet underneath, or no, the desk underneath. We can just simply mount it to a wall like this, and it works in a modern home perfectly. But back to this GIF system. So I've tried to make this as easy as possible. So if we were to go ahead and right click on the TV here, it's going to bring up a GUI. So you can set three channels onto this TV here. Now, you might be wondering how do you actually cycle through those channels? Well, I'll show you real soon. Um, we have an option here to stretch it to the screen and we also have an option to power the TV. So let's go ahead Let's grab a GIF right here and I'll show you how this works. Alright, so I've grabbed a GIF. What I'm going to do is go ahead and paste it into the first channel here. We're going to go ahead and turn the power on and then we should exit here. And as you can see, the TV is now displaying this uh, <laughs> funny GIF of a cat getting atta brutally attacked with cheese. Brutally, uh, brutally attacked. Um, and if we go ahead and we click this stretch to screen option, uh, as you can see, it has now filled up the borders. However, it's kind of stretched the GIF. Uh, this one in particular still kind of looks fine, but um, if you had uh, maybe like a GIF that was more kind of vertical looking and stretching it, it might distort the GIF a little bit too much and might look might not look good. But but it's there just as an option because obviously having the black bars there doesn't really look too nice. So I've grabbed a second GIF here, we're going to paste this into channel 2. Now you might be wondering how do we actually get to that next channel. Now I wasn't going to do this as a separate um, kind of segment here, but I've actually added in an item called the TV remote and this allows you to wirelessly control the TV here. So it doesn't matter, you can be back this far, we can actually change the channel. So simply right click and we have the next channel of uh, cats and it's, oh, there's a frog there <laughs> didn't even notice that and this next piece of furniture complements the modern TV and this is the TV stand now I love this piece of furniture mainly because it has so many different states to it that it feels like it's three separate pieces of furniture so I'll show you what I mean by that so let's place this down, we're going to place it under the TV there. So right now it kind of looks like a shelf. It looks like a shelf, it doesn't really look like a TV stand. If we place one to the right of it, now it actually looks like some storage thing, not even like a, a TV um, stand, it just feels like some storage thing. So if you actually do right click it, we do have nine slots available to store items inside of it. Um, but this is where it gets even more interesting, let's place another one next to it. Now, as you can see, as you can see now, this actually feels like a TV stand. So we have storage on the side here. Uh, we have storage in the middle there too. That's just kind of a downside. Well, that's just how it works, and it does as well infinitely expand to however long you want. So maybe you have like a LAN setup or something like that with the modern TVs. You could create a giant TV stand. And up next, we have the photo frame. So these come in all 16 colors and I've just grabbed out a couple of them here. So let's go ahead and let's place this down. Now the advantage over these photo frames over let's say Minecraft's paintings is that you can actually put any image that you want into this photo frame. So let's go ahead, let's get a link of an image right now from the internet and uh, I'll show you guys how this works. So it works similar to the TV. If we go ahead and we right click the photo frame here, it will give us a text field where we can actually enter in a URL. It also gives us an option here to stretch to border, which is similar to the stretch to screen. So we can actually fill it up with the image if we wanted to. So I've got an image here. Let's go ahead, let's load this up. And as you can see, we, know we have another beautiful cat in there. Uh, the stretch to border probably doesn't really do anything because we already have a square image. So that's pretty much it. There's nothing really more to say about it than it's an awesome decoration piece for your house. So we've just reached the halfway mark, but this next piece is 
the modern sliding door. Now this is a door I've wanted to add for a very long time, but it's only until it's only up until now that I've really known how to program stuff properly. Like if I added this before, it would have been really, really clunky. Uh, but let's go ahead, let's test this out right now. So all we have to simply do to open it is just right click and it has a buttery smooth sliding animation there. We go back over to the other side here. We can close it um, and yeah as you notice when we actually have a double door like this both of them will open just with one click you don't have to right click both of them at all so it doesn't actually yeah minecraft doors don't do that uh, but something it is something that is similar to minecraft doors is you can actually select which side the hinge goes on so you might notice if i right click on this half of the block here the handle will be over this side however if i right click on this half the handle will be on the opposite side so we could have a door like this um <laughs> that's a little bit interesting <laughs> i don't recommend that i do not recommend that at all uh we can create a double door or we could just have you know a simple single door like that if you wanted to now something that's cool about it is this does actually work in conjunction with the modern window so i actually made it so the modern window will connect up to the modern door just so it actually looks nice and as you can see here beautiful and i can right click that it will open up you can close it again and it looks like this would be perfect for like a um, like kind of like a shopping a shop storefront because um, obviously shops usually have lots of windows at the front so people could see the products inside. So that's the modern sliding door. One of my favorite pieces in this update, but let's go on to the next one right now. And here we have the modern couch. And of course, it comes in all the 16 colors. But this is essentially the couch's bigger, better brother. And let's go ahead, let's grab it out right here. So here's the original couch, but as you can see down below here, we actually have the brand new modern couch and um, obviously it looks a lot more modern. That's the whole point of this update. But the downside to the modern couch, and I'll show you guys right now is, okay, we can place this down, we can extend it out, but the difference here is we can't actually create corner couches. And this is just mainly because I wanted them to feel a little bit different and have different um, perks and advantages over each other. This one looks obviously better in the model. However, the old one can actually have corner connections. We can go ahead and right click it and sit on the couch, obviously. Quite a simple feature that should be, oh well, <laughs> I am invisible for some reason. So obviously I had to include this, but this is the modern table. So it couldn't be the modern update without adding a modern table and you've probably guessed the functionality of this as well because if you've played around with my mod previously you would know that the original table can extend in any direction and create any sort of shape table that you want. The same applies to the modern table so we can extend it like this and create a long table. We can create like a, a 3 by 2 like that or we can create any sort of shape that we want. We can create like a, a circle shape like that and the model and table will automatically adjust to the adjacent modern tables. You can also place decorations on top of it. So we've placed a flower pot here. We've got a plate with some food on it. Now, you're probably thinking we're missing a very crucial piece. So this next piece of furniture we're checking out is the modern chair. And this complements the modern table extremely well so let's place this like that and we actually now have like a cool little dining table maybe not having a wide one maybe we can make this uh, modern table a little bit wider like that we actually now have like a proper dining table now again ignore the kind of glitch with the shaders there there's not really a lot i can do um, this does look perfectly fine without shaders installed which i assume a lot of you guys will be playing without but as you can see, these modern chairs have a modern design to it. There's not just kind of like normal legs coming down. The legs actually come down at the front and then wrap around at the bottom and then connect back up at the front. But definitely a cool looking piece to have inside your kitchen or a dining room. 
Next up, we have the modern bed, and as well, this one comes in all 16 colors. So while this is a modern looking and aesthetically pleasing bed, it does actually have an advantage over the normal Minecraft bed, because this bed can actually expand horizontally so you can you can increase the width of the bed here to any size you want so right now we have a double bed and now we have a three wide bed a three wide bed here and as I mentioned you can get it in any color that you want so you can actually mix and match it and it will still connect up and next up we have the modern coffee table So this was obvious that it was going to be in the list because we have the modern table, we have the modern chair, we also have the modern couch. It made sense, it made sense to have the modern coffee table in this update as well. And it acts very similar to the modern table too where you can actually expand it um, to any size shape that you want. However, there's one new thing about the coffee table that uh, hasn't been in the previous updates and that is you can now place any item that you want onto the coffee table so if we were to go ahead and let's grab out the TV remote that we showed off before we can actually place this onto it and it renders beautifully now this is not functional it's mainly for for aesthetics so even if we could place like the coffee table on here it's just kind of like um, you can imagine like an item frame uh, it just kind of renders the item onto it. You can't interact with it at all. Now you might have noticed I actually have the old coffee table. The same applies to this too. You can actually place items on the old ones as well. Uh, made sense to do that not only just for like the modern one but for the old coffee table as well. And I've actually linked into, if we go into my device mod here uh, and we get one of the laptops out, we can actually place one of the laptops on here and it actually works on it. Um, you can't interact with it, but it looks awesome on this table. We could also grab out um, the printer and also one of the routers as well. And they render nicely onto the table here. So this next piece was something a little bit unexpected and this is the modern stairs. So this idea actually came from one of you guys. And I liked it so much that I actually added it into the mod. And uh, let's take a look at this right now. So this is the modern stairs. And it's pretty cool. Um, but the cool thing about it is it's very minimal. It's very minimal. It doesn't feel like it takes up a lot of space. So if we were to actually create some stairs here. Um, as you can see, it doesn't feel as chunky as it would if you were to use the normal Minecraft stairs. For instance, let's go ahead, let's use, oh, uh, let's not use those ones, let's go ahead, let's grab out just some normal oak stairs here. As you can see by this, it is a lot less chunky than the normal regular Minecraft stairs. Now one thing I love about them is you can see through them with the normal kind of stairs. Um, you can't see through them at all. If you were putting this inside in the middle of your in the middle of your house, you would have to like fill up um, underneath it with some blocks like that to actually make it look good. But the modern stairs straight off the bat look perfect and can fit into a room um, very, very easily. Now just a quick trick for some people out there. There's actually a decoration detail that you can do with these. So um, I actually discovered this accidentally and a lot of people have already is that you can actually create a picnic bench with these. So if you place them opposite directions of each other like that, you can create a picnic bench. You can also create it um, for however long you want and it works perfectly as a decoration for outside or in a park. And this next piece is the kitchen counter drawer. And this is definitely something ha that has been missing for a very long time and it really makes bl these bland kitchens feel a lot more alive. Um, so this would be an example of an original kitchen in the mod. Uh, we just have the kitchen counters here. There's no storage at all with them, but with the addition of the counter drawers, we can actually place them with the, um, the normal counters here and it makes them look a whole lot better and they have storage now so instead of purely just using the kitchen cabinets we can now use these counter drawers and store items inside of it now it's pretty obvious 
These do come in all of the 16 colors, and something that hasn't been mentioned yet is that the kitchen counters now come in all the 16 colors, but we'll go over that later on in this video. And this is actually the last unique piece of furniture, and this is the modern outdoor table. So it's very similar to the normal modern table, however the difference between this one is that it actually has a glass center here, so if we were to place it like that, we have a glass on the middle here, and it's very similar to the normal outdoor table. As you can see, this has glass in the center here. The only thing is that we do not have a modern bench, mainly because I felt like it didn't really fit into this update, and we might save it for something like the next update, which if you don't know, is going to be the outdoor update version 2. So hopefully you guys are excited for that, but this is cool. It adjusts to any sort of shape um, that you like, so you create any sort of table shape you want. It will be a table. That is it for all the new pieces of furniture, but we're not done yet. We're going to go on to all the improvements that have been added to this mod, and I'm going to tell you right now, it's just as good as all the new pieces we've just shown. So kitchen counters now come in every single color. This also applies to the kitchen counter sinks, doormats, curtains, and coolers. Doorbells now come in every single wood variant. but also crates, blinds, and finally mailboxes. I've made the electronics look like they're more electronic. The lamp has been completely remodeled to look a lot more modern. The fridge and the oven range hood models have been improved. We are still keeping that original OG feel at the back of it though. You can now sit in baths. And all these pieces of furniture in front of me, their textures have been updated to feel more modern. But that's not the end yet guys. Now, because there is so many pieces of furniture in my furniture mod now, it made sense that we need to add in a sorting system. Because let's be honest, scrolling through the creative tab to find the furniture is going to be a pain. So instead, what I've done is I've created an entire filtering system. So as you can see, when we go to the Furniture Mod Creative tab here, we now have these tabs on the side here, which are essentially filters. So what we could do is, oh, let's have a look at all the filters we have. So we have tables and chairs, bedroom, kitchen, bathroom, outdoor, electronics, event, storage, and lighting. As of right now, all these filters are enabled, so it's actually going to show all the pieces of furniture and decoration in my furniture mod. Let's disable them all, but let's say we just want to have, you know, bathroom stuff showing. So we disabled them all, let's click the bathroom filter, and now it will only show furniture related to the bathroom. So we have the toilet, basin, wall cabinet, bath, shower, shower head, bin, mirror, and also the modern window. Maybe we just want not, maybe we just want outdoor stuff. Let's add the uh, the outdoor filter on. Maybe we want outdoor stuff and tables and chairs on. So if we enable the tables and chairs and the outdoor, 
we now have chairs and outdoor related furniture. So this is going to allow you to design rooms a whole lot easier because now I've separated all the furniture up into categories and you can find them very easily. And that brings us to the end of the video. The modern update is now available. Download link in the description below. If you guys happen to download this update and play around with it, do not hesitate to send me some screenshots of you, you, of you using this new update in your own builds. And if you're lucky, I might feature you on my own feed. But some final words before I end off this video today. I just want to thank you guys so much. This update would have been nothing without you, especially all the people that joined me during all my development live streams. It's been a real journey. It's been a real journey and I'm really happy that uh, we're at the end of this now because the modern update, we were getting to a point where there wasn't really anything exciting to add to this update. So I'm happy to move on and the next update, as I've mentioned, a couple of times in this video is going to be the outdoor update version 2 so I'm really excited to start that next week but that's it if you guys haven't already go ahead and leave a like on this video subscribe and I will catch you guys later bye